The post office horizon scandal is a tough one to tackle for any dramatist. It's a long, complex story with countless victims and a legal mess that's as confusing as the infamous Jarndyce vs. Jarndyce case. Plus, the bad guy is a computer terminal that doesn't say a word. But, it's also a story that's begging to be told. It's not often you see a clear-cut case of the little guy standing up to a big, bad corporation. And in this case, the big bad corporation is even wearing a dog collar. The TV show Mr. Bates vs. The Post Office on ITV1 sets the stage right from the start. Alan Bates, played by Toby Jones, and his wife, Suzanne, played by Julie Hesmondhouse, are kicked out of their sub-post office in North Wales by intimidating men who show up in a fleet of black cars. The show paints Bates as a hero who refuses to let the post office get away with claiming that its Horizon accounting system is flawless and that hundreds of sub-postmasters are thieves. Jones is perfect in the role of the underdog who won't be beaten. The casting is spot on, from Monica Dolan as Joe Hamilton, a woman whose honesty was used against her, to Leah Williams as Paula Venels of Post Office Ltd. After this show, the CEO and former priest might find it hard to show her face in public. Even former cabinet minister Nadim Zahawi does a good job playing himself, getting all worked up in a committee meeting. The show does a good job of guiding viewers through the complex story. Some parts are a bit heavy-handed, like when Ian Hart's character, a forensic accountant, breaks down in tears and says, the more of you people I meet, the less I understand how you're all still standing. The show doesn't shy away from the harsh realities. While the sub-postmasters deal with illness, depression, self-harm, suicide, and a violent robbery, the post office's headquarters is portrayed as the Death Star. Bates fights back from his home in a North Wales valley that's as idyllic as Eden. Despite the heavy subject matter, the show is powerful and ultimately uplifting. It's fueled by anger and disbelief at the corporate wrongdoing that's hard to fully comprehend. As one character says, we just cling to a notion, don't we, that people can't be that bad. I've never felt more manipulated by a drama, and I've never minded less. <laughs>